Good day! The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the 60th meeting of the Western Armenian National Assembly was held. Sergei Lavrov's speech on the right of Artsakh to self-determination. On April 22, a ceremony dedicated to the memory of the victims of the genocide committed against the Armenian people will be held in the French city of Braun. Azerbaijan's proposals on the status of Artsakh are unacceptable. Arayi Karutsunyan, bringing the world to Artsakh, new program launches. On Lake Van in Western Armenia, ban on hunting Tarek begins today. Today is the birthday of world-famous artist Ashil Gorgi. A major concert festival will be held in Yerevan on the occasion of the International Dance Day. On April 13, the 16th online session of the National Assembly of Western Armenia was held, which was attended by deputies from around the world. The meeting was distinguished by the fact that beside the deputies, Chairman of Western Armenia Armina Gabraman also spoke about the packages presented to the UN, which includes more than 2,000 pages of materials on Western Armenia. It consisted of 20 pages, and the rest of the materials were submitted with links, since the volume of package submitted to the UN should not exceed 20 pages. Armina Gabra Man also answered the deputies' questions. During the meeting, NA Speaker Nelly Harutunyan presented to the deputies the draft of the second session of the seventh convocation, which was adopted anonymously. The agenda of the meeting also included a number of other issues, one of which was the discussion of the schedule of upcoming commemoration events in different countries on April 24. We present very important information related to the right of Artsakh to self-determination, an excerpt from the speech of Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov concerning the principles of territorial integrity and self-determination of peoples. We need to return to the UN Charter, where among other things there is respect for the sovereign equality of states. This is the basic principle. There is a nation's right to self-determination, as well as respect for sovereignty and territorial integrity. Since the creation of the UN, it has been said that it's more important for territorial integrity, sovereignty and the right of peoples to self-determination. There were special meetings and negotiations, and they have been going for decades. In 1970s, they concluded with approval of the most important declaration and the principle of international law, which concerns friendly relations and cooperation between states in accordance with the UN Charter. There is a section devoted to the relation of sovereignty, territorial integrity, and the right to self-determination. We must defend the value of UN as some important things were done there. We need to return to this invaluable experience. Member of the National Council of Western Armenia, Vice President of Anakas, Lydia Markosian, President of the Association Les Sauvignons Francias, Yves Paison, City Councilman Delegate to the Veterans Affairs and Memory Commission, Stefan Tsenin, we invite you to enter the memorial ceremony in memory of the victims of the genocide committed against the Armenian people, which will be held on April 22, 2022, in Braun, France, under the honorary chairmanship of Mayor of Braun, the regional advisor responsible for special events, Jeremy Braun. Artsakh President Arai Karutunyan presented Azerbaijan's proposal on the status of Artsakh unacceptable. We understand that we have to live next door, but subordination is impossible. It is unacceptable. The option we should be guided is to maintain the status quo, as the Russians said. The Russian peacekeeping forces will continue to remain here indefinitely, as they have come here as a guarantee of security of the Armenian population living in Artsakh. He said at a meeting with officials of the administration of Martakert region to continually living here having de facto independence, striving for the euro for the changes. It may be independence. It may be a connection with Armenia, which I consider unlikely. But it may also be some kind of relation with Russia within the framework of a direct vertical. Tufankan Charitable Foundation launches a new program bringing the world to Artsakh within the framework of initiating well-known promising Armenian figures of Armenia and the diaspora should visit Artsakh and make public speeches among the population. The aim of the initiative is to attract and motivate the local population and help raise the authority of Artsakh in Armenia and internationally. This was stated by Director of Foreign Relations of the Tufankan Charitable Foundation, Ruben Jambazian. The visit will include not only public speeches, but also roundtable discussions, meeting exhibitions, and some trainings. A ban on hunting Tarek, which lives only in Lake Van and whose breeding period is from April 15 to July 15, has begun in Lake Van in Western Armenia. Tarek moves to fresh water for three months and lays egg. 
Van Tarekhus films against current of the water and overcomes obstacles by jumping creates a kind of spectacle with its visual lifestyle. The relevant authorities will carry out control work and fresh water in order to prevent fish poaching as much as possible. And we call that until recently, Tarek was considered the only type of fish in Lake Van, but it is no longer the only one since a new type of fish was discovered. Arshil Gorgi was born in the village of Khorgom in the Van province of Armenia and Gorge in Western Armenia. In 1915, as a result of the genocide of Armenians, he left Van and together with his mother and three sisters, moved to Ejmiadzin and then to Yerevan. In 1924, he moved to New York, where he studied at National Academy, then at a Central School of Art, where he taught drawing and painting for five years from 1926. In 1933, he joined the Government Painters Assistance Program to create a moral at New York Air. In 1939, he participated in the decorative works of World Exhibition in New York. Ashil Gorgi simultaneously belongs to Surrealism and Abstract Expressionism, one of the founders of which is considered. He is considered one of the most influential American artists of the 20th century. His paintings have been exhibited in all major galleries of the United States, as well as at the Tate Gallery in London. He died on July 21, 1948. On April 29, the International Dance Day celebrated all over the world. The holiday dedicated to all styles and dance has been celebrated since 1982. As part of the International Dance Day, concert festival will be held in Yerevan on April 30 and May 1. The main idea of this holiday is to unite various dance trends as a single art form, and Dance Day is an occasion to express people's love and respect for dance, since it is an art that can overcome all political, cultural and ethnic boundaries, unite people in name of friendship and peace, allowing them to speak the same language, the language of dance. Now musical part, Armenian spiritual melody, Ures Mairim, Gagi Kasparian. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.